the excitement, the romance, and ultimately the proposal. Valerie, will you marry me? It's not how everyone would picture Blackpool. This is rather more familiar. Paul Daniels reportedly said the resort is even too bawdy to host the World Magic Championship. The council hopes the new advert will change all that. There is more to Blackpool than people think, and it isn't just the perception that people commonly hold, and we hope that the film will sort of challenge that. Think what you will about Blackpool, but it is trying. Way, at but. In May came this advert, boldly pitching it as a mini Paris. It's now UK home of beach volleyball, attracting the major European tour, and there's even a new trendy light sculpture. But is Blackpool in danger of alienating the very people who already enjoy coming here? To avoid this, there's a simple way to draw in new crowds, according to the man who used to run many of the attractions. I think gone are the days where there is a need for five miles of illuminations. And if we could contract that down um, to two miles of world-class, jaw-dropping technology, I think that would be better than what I would say is five miles of mediocrity. The town's decision-makers hate the idea, so we asked residents their thoughts on the ad and the lights. Do you think it's realistic? Yeah, I do. I, lo I love it. I think it's really good. It shows... Um, it definitely shows how Blackpool's changed and it shows the good side, the good things in Blackpool and all the new developments. That could give a false image in a way because, I mean, that is what I'd like it to be like everywhere. But it isn't, of course, is it? I think the light should be more quantity, no, more quality than quantity, you know, because I think seven miles, like you said, I don't know, it's that long, it's a bit long for the lights. The resort is unlikely to ever please everyone. It remains to be seen whether it can pull back the visitors it's lost. Michelle May, Sky News, Blackpool.